Uh, in this video, I'm going to go into emitters and particles. So, let's get started. If we come up to simulate particles emitter, what happens is there's just a square that gets uh, put down here, just a square. I'm going to leave it right where it is, and I'm going to press play right here. So, what is coming out of this emitter are particles. I can pause these particles. Let me just pause it for a moment, the pause button, and let's render. So there's nothing. So right now, these particles don't re represent anything. But we can tell them to be whatever we, whatever we want. So why don't we grab a cube? And the reason I'm going to use a cube is it's not very taxing on a computer because it only has six sides. I'm going to scale this down, and I'm going to scale it down proportionally so it's about this large in comparison to my emitter. I'm then going to come up here and I'm going to drag the word cube into the word emitter. When you do it correctly it should look something like this. So if I press play you'll notice I don't see anything happening. However, if I just pause for a moment and render again, the particles have been replaced by cubes. Now how do I get them to show up in the editor? Of course we can do that. Let's come up to the emitter, the word emitter. Let's get this to the attributes here. I'm going to make sure that I'm on the, um, the word particle here. And down below, all the way down here, we see show objects. I'm just going to check that on. And now you can see that the object, objects are showing. If I press play, you can see that they will play and emit outside of the emitter. Okay. So, there are some great options in here that we can continue to look at. A lot more we can do. So there's rotation, and we can type all of these things while it's playing. Rotation I'm going to change to 90, because these are just spinning out very straight and it looks very unrealistic. If I type 90 in the rotation field, now it looks like they're tumbling out. The end scale is a 1, but if I change the variation, I can... Um, have some different variation of sizes by typing 90. Let's just do 90. You can do whatever you want and press enter. So now the size var uh, variation is up to 90% and you can see how there are some very small ones and larger cubes. You could also in the editor tell it to uh, spit out more. So I just change from 10 to 20 and I have a lot more particles coming out and in return the more cubes. I could tell this emitter to start emitting not at zero but a frame that's further out in the timeline. I can also tell this to stop emitting at any frame I want. And over here we could look at speed. So you can also have these come out at different speeds and if you add variation to that speed that would make them do have different speeds. Each cube would have a different speed. So um, that is um, my tutorial on emitters. Oh, one last thing. What if I wanted a second shape? Well, let's try it. I am going to get myself, how about um, a cone? And I'm going to scale this cone down just so it's about the same size of those cubes. And I'm going to drag the cone into the word emitter. And now what you see are cubes and cones. So, of course, you can put as many different shapes as you want in, as long as your computer can handle it. I'm going to throw in a torus as well. You could also add textures. I'm going to make three textures. Now, this is a bit of a glitch with Cinema 40. When you're making textures, you want to make sure that you pause your animation. Pause before you make them. So, let me just quickly choose some different colors here. Color. Okay. All right, and I'm going to drag 
these textures to the actual objects. If I don't, and I drag them here, it's going to go on the emitter and it'll be on all of the shapes at once. So each shape will have its own texture. And now you can see what we get. All right. Well, that's all I have for emitters and particles for now. Uh, good luck. Give it a try. And uh, keep an eye out for my next videos.